one of the biggest announcements during Bethesda pre-E3 show was Bethesda VR. And one of the games that's taking advantage of that is Doom. That's why we're here with Marty once again talking to you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. It's good to be here. So uh, we couldn't try this yet. So uh, how is the experience? How can you describe uh, Doom VR experience? Uh, you know, we, we, ha we have a team that, that uh, led by Robert Duffy that's kind of put together this really cool VR experience. Um, we, what we didn't go for is, is direct Doom 4 gameplay because uh, there's just it's it's so fast and you move so fast through the world and you're punching and your head's moving all over the place. Um, but what they did was create something that that really took you into the world of of Doom into into the UAC. You have a a little um, kind of experience where you get to see some of the demons on a table and and uh, and kind of control them and look at them up close. And then uh, and then you go into a hallway where it's kind of zombies coming down each each side and mancubus and you get to shoot with. Uh, with a plasma gun and throw grenades, and then and then we dive you into hell, which was really really fun. The first time that I went into hell in a VR experience, it was just like, I mean, you just look around and you're like, this. The amazing thing about VR is that your memories of of the experience are in the in the place of the VR experience. So it's not like when you play a game and you're like, I'm in my living room and my memory is of in my living room watching this. Like you remember being in that place, and um, it's just a really transformational experience. And and like our artists are just they they put so much love and so much detail into the characters. It, the first time I was in, uh, we have a spider mastermind that comes that comes over, and, and you actually get to see it up close. And I grabbed the guy, our, our artist Denzel, who uh, who built the spider mastermind, and I'm like. I ran down the hallway and I grabbed him and took him to Robert's office and I'm like, you got to see this because it's like your creation that you literally can walk around and, and see, it, you know, see the detail. You go down and you look at the, their toes and their legs and the detail and love they put into it just shines through in VR. So it's, so, it's so much fun. Can it be too much uh, being in VR? I mean, inside this really hectic, fast-paced experience and trying to to get you know to get everything into account and, and to shoot where you have to shoot at, etc. Uh, yeah, I think if it was if it was something where you were you were playing Doom Four the way the the game plays, you know, on on the consoles and PC, I I I think it would be too much. I think it would make you nauseous, and that's that's why you know the focus for Robert and that team has been um, really like creating an experience that is 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 true to VR. You know, is 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 like you know the fun thing about VR is being able to walk around that little space and and you know, use those, use the, you know, use your hands in ways and like, it's, it's fun to see that plasma gun and, and, you know, shoot like that and have, you know, this, this level and like turn your head over here while you're still shooting over here. Those kinds of things are really cool, but moving for, you know, fast paced and ledge grabbing. I mean, we didn't even, we're not even trying to do that. So I think we're going to focus on how does, how does an experience get built specifically for VR in the doom world, in the UAC, in hell. Uh, we, we built such a kind of a, a cool story within within Doom that I think people I, I think people will be interested in exploring a little bit more about like this this really nutty UAC place and and then Hell takes on I mean it takes on a whole different um, kind of feeling when you when you're in there in VR I mean I, I found myself just kind of walking around these pillars that that had had like the remnants of old battles that we had kind of created the fiction of within within Hell um, and to see. To see that stuff in VR is just really, really cool. So we're going to focus on creating new experiences within within the Doom world, and probably not really trying to force players to play Doom, you know, the way they play on their consoles or their PC. How much will this uh, new experience last? I don't know. We're just we're in the early early stages. What we have here at the show floor takes about six minutes um, to to go through, um, but the world is big. I mean, we've got we've got a lot of things that we can do, a lot of ideas, uh, and it'll just be a matter of of kind of. Uh, running through them and, and figuring out what works best. Uh, what does it mean uh, technologically for your studio? Uh, how was the development process for this uh, new technology? Uh, really pretty good. Um, the uh, the engine, you know, it's it's an uncapped frame rate engine, so like it, the that that's really important. Um, we have just one of the best tech teams in the world, uh, led by Robert. Um, we have a, a team in Frankfurt that did a ton of work on 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 the the VR stuff, getting um, getting SLI working so that you know you can actually have one video card per eye, if you you know if you can imagine like that 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 power, um, and uh, and and then again just the the engine in general being able to to uh, and and the, it's always this combination of of 
technology and art that that makes something you know it makes the world feel that much more solid and and uh, it's one of the striking things about our vr experience that i've had is um you know when you play the game on a on a tv there's there's just certain things that you don't you don't see it goes by so fast and and um but when you when you actually have the time to like take a look at something to to walk around the revenant you know who stands seven and a half feet tall um you just see things in that world and and that's that's just a huge tribute to the tech on our side and then also the the artists yeah, that they kind of create the create that level of detail in the world now that you mentioned the power you presented these along with the uh, uh htc vive uh, uh, is there any sort of exclusivity deal behind that? And why did you choose this device uh, specifically? Uh, there's really no exclusivity. We're kind of a agnostic when it comes to, to technology. It was a, it's a it's a good good piece of hardware, and the and the team making it just felt like that was uh, uh, you know the the solid good good uh, good hardware for it. So perhaps we can expect some uh, PSVR ad adaptation of this, or maybe in the future you taking advantage of the new uh, expanded power of the uh, Scorpio project for Xbox. Yeah, I mean it's it's a it's a wide open ball field for us. I mean it's it's hard to say exactly, you know, this is our um, you know we showed we showed Doom 3 PFG edition in VR. That was I mean we were really pioneering back back in those days. Um, as you can see when you walk around the show floor, mm -hmm. VR is a big thing. So, uh, lots of headsets out there, lots of technology out there. Uh, it's it's great to be one of the leaders in that space and, and kind of, you know, we, we were really the only one that had it back in 2012 and, and to, to, to have it be so prevalent now is, is fantastic. Um, and, you know, we're just looking, looking forward to all the opportunities it's it's hard to say which headset it's going to end up on or how we're going to go about it but uh you know just kind of toe in the water this year with with doom because we just released uh released the game so now on the game itself of course the success has been amazing uh how has been the fe the feedback so far and of course you you just launched the demo version i don't know if that's like like to say thank you or to show the game to new audiences yeah, it's. I, I mean, I just can't say enough about the 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 way the fans reacted to the game. I mean, it's it. You work as a team. You know, we worked so hard to 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 create a game that we felt like fans would like. Uh, we said that at that very first QuakeCon when we showed it. We're like, we think this is the type of Doom that you want to play. Um, so to launch it and then like literally in the first instances be able to watch people play it on Twitch and and react to it and they're posting videos and um, they they you know it was, it was interesting because we, we we kind of put it in their hands you know at the same time as reviewers and they and they became like this little army of doom that or this big army of doom actually these just loving the game and and the champions of the games and advocates of the game so it was just it was awesome to see that reaction it just made us so proud and, and gave us a connection with the audience that we were really hoping for um, so that's that's been uh, that's that's made it all worth it honestly to have to have fans react to it to it so well and and really that that just turned the page for us on on the support of the game going forward through the rest of this year with uh, all of the DLC that we were, were working when I was asking on. I was asking about that yeah, so we've got we've got great DLC in the works. We showed some of it uh, at the conference. We've got three new um, maps that are that are coming out um, as part of our premium DLC, along with a, a new uh, playable demon, a new weapon. But then we also have two new modes that are going to be free to all players: uh, one flag CTF and a, and a kind of a capture and hold mode. Yep. Um, and then all of our snap map DLC is going to be free. Um, and uh, it's just, I mean, it's just getting started. I mean, we're we're adding the ability for players to create true single player experiences where you can use the weapon wheel and carry all your weapons um, or a, a, a map author can give a player all the weapons or allow them to carry them all. Um, you can use the weapon wheel if you like to use the weapon wheel in, in that. Um, and, and then another really cool thing is actually a, an author can add um, a, a kind of a, a logic option at the end of, of a map to go to another one of their maps. So they can actually create a, a single player campaign within Snap Map that a player just plays through and goes from map to map to map to map. Um, and uh, a sing single player cam or, or a co-op campaign, you can you can connect maps however you want. Um, so to see to see the level of creativity that people have already poured into it in just a month, um, and and then to know kind of what we're what we're doing moving ahead uh, was fantastic. And you mentioned the demo, and that was that was just um, you know that was part like the reaction was so good, and people liked the first level so much. I think they were 
they were a bit surprised. It was fun to watch on Twitch because they'd, they'd start the game and they'd pull their arms up and then they'd crush the skull of the, of the zombie and then be like, whoa, 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 okay, I got a gun. Oh, these guys are attacking and you know, and they'd start shooting. And, and like that immediacy of the, of the campaign, it really resonated with people um, and just throwing them into the action. I, I think that was something necessary because uh, before launch, some people was, were unsure, unsure about the result and about going back to real Doom roots. But the moment the game was launched, I mean, I think everyone was convinced, uh, myself as well. I mean, I started playing as, as you said, I, I was like, okay, this is real Doom, I'm, I'm enjoying this. Yeah. So do you think uh, this is also something that now is going to be communicated better with the demo? Uh, I, I think so. I mean, I think, again, like, because people had that kind of like that really cool reaction to the beginning of the game, it's just set the tone so well. Um, and, and that both on the gameplay side and the combat side, but also kind of the storytelling side. I think people, um, people reacted well to, to the Doom Marine kind of throwing that monitor at the very beginning saying, I'm, I'm here to kill demons. You know, we saw a lot of people talking about that, that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, so we, we, we feel like the first level is a great representation of Doom. And if you're, if you're still one of those people who don't believe all the really good reviews and you're still on the fence about it, or, you know, if you're on your PC and you don't know if the, if the game's going to run well on the PC, um, you can download the demo for free. It doesn't cost you anything, no risk, and, and you, get to, you get to experience it. Um, and we feel like it's an addictive enough experience that they'll, they'll go ahead and push that buy now button at the end. And as you mentioned, the user content, uh, the user created content and via a snap, a snap map, etc., which is the craziest thing you've seen? If you can give us one single example. Oh my gosh, the craziest one single example. Um, somebody built a Minecraft level in, in one thing and they made it look r a lot like Minecraft. And okay. it, it, it was is pretty remarkable. There, there's a lot of crazy stuff. There's people who've made Pong. Uh, there's, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, somebody made like a Mario style level. Um, so, so there's there's some really, really interesting stuff out there. Will they be able to create something in VR as well? That's a, that's a great question. We talk about that stuff all the time. I, I, I can't give you a, a definitive answer on anything like that, that but it's, to yeah, um, it, but it, it, it really, it, it would be very fun. Um, and, and for us, um, one of the most exciting things about Doom is that we have these three components of the game, single player, multiplayer, and snap map, that just give us so much fertile ground to continue to feed, you know? Um, and, and we have players that are enjoying all three of those aspects of the game. So as a team, we look at that as just a huge opportunity to continue to, to, to provide opportunities. And VR is one of those opportunities. I mean, it's just, it, it, it really sets itself up well um, to do a lot of different things. So I think you'll, I, I just think you'll continue to hear us uh, iterating and, and making the game better in, in all, all sorts of different ways. Okay, closing one. Uh, new Quake was announced, of course. Are uh, both teams collaborating? Are you uh, helping them out somehow with your experience of uh, getting back to roots? Uh, how it's done? Yeah, we, we really haven't a ton. That you know, Tim's managing that project um, and and working with Saber, um, but uh, but we're gonna you know we're we're one big team. It is um, most of our team has been really really focused on Doom, and like I said, you know, this is just closing the you know, finishing the game was just kind of like turning the page to the next chapter where we've got a lot of support we want to put into 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 Doom as well, um, but. We, we talk all the time, uh, you know, we're, we're always available to help each other out. In fact, throughout ZeniMax, I mean, there's, there's a lot of support. We got a lot of support from teams like Machine, uh, Machine Games and Battlecry. Um, we work really closely with Machine Games on technology. Um, we, you know, we, we, we're, we're all one big, one big team, so uh, we're always passing information back and forth and, and helping with resources here and there. So it should, should, uh, should be fun. I'm really, I'm really looking forward to that game as well. Thank you for your time, Martin. I'm, I'm just looking forward to play Doom VR like right now, so I'm getting getting yeah. there. You'll, you'll enjoy it. It's fun. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.